and welcome. This is Melissa Armel with the Stocks Washington and Reviewing the Market here. So expect some movement in the market tonight. In fact, let me just put this up here right now. Um, President Trump is going to be talking around 6 o'clock Eastern time, and that's when the, the, well, it'll probably be late. They never start on time. So anyways, tonight there will be some action here in this market. Again, going into Friday, end of the week. Even if we're up tonight and up tomorrow morning, I don't think we go anywhere. We haven't really been going anywhere, in my opinion. Of course, many people uh, are saying that the market is back bullish, but it is not. So um, I'm looking at this, as I said in the trading room yesterday, <coughs> excuse me, and again this morning, as, as, like a, as like a move down, as if it's going to uh, like scoop or turn, like a scoop and turn here is what I'm looking for, which could take, again, one, two, three, one, two, three, four into next week. So I'm looking for a scoop and turn. Again, the only reason the market's held up as well as it has in the last few days is Amazon has been extremely bullish. Netflix has been extremely bullish. So those two stocks really have helped support this market. And the QQQs, therefore, are still in an uptrend. But the SPY is not. The banks are selling off. And as I've said all along, you need to watch the banks and see what the banks are doing because you're not going to have a recovery in this market without the financials. And the banks look worse today than they did yesterday. Look at this. This really continued. Wow. What a nice move. This went 12 points almost through that, through that strike of that one put. Jeez Louise. The Bank of America has had a nice move. Um, and... I'll have to be watching here and see where this Goldman goes. It's the only one that really wasn't selling off. Wells Fargo had a nice sell-off today. So we've been watching these really in the room in the morning as well. And some, some nice short moves in here. I mean, you just can't deny it. But again, here's one of the leaning banks. There's just no way the market's going to recover from here uh, right now. So I think it's going to be very, 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 very choppy. You have people in here long. You have people in here short. You have people selling. You have people buying. You have people doing all kinds of things. And I think it's going to be a choppy, choppy summer. Um, but I'm, I am looking for a gap down that's of some significance coming up soon. I thought it was going to happen two weeks ago. We did have this gap down here April 1st. We did have this. We didn't have enough follow through here. We had some of the day. Um, and then and then we lifted, but I really uh, I'm anticipating a gap down at some point here within the next week for sure. So we'll see really if my prediction that we're gonna have a gap down in the market that's significant. And we gapped down yesterday, and we gapped up a little bit today, but went nowhere. But I'm looking for a significant significant gap down in the market. What do I mean? A gap down in the market that just sells off with a nice fat red bar. So that's pretty much what I'm going to be looking for. So good luck, everyone. Hope you're having a great week. Hope you're staying safe. Email me at melissa.thestockswoosh.com if you have any questions.